So rather than cut wood all night, Jeremy's been using the, it's called like the three stick, stick method or call it whatever you want, but he's been shoving these big logs here. They're all kind of angled in toward the middle of the central fire. And uh, every couple of hours if he wakes up, shove the logs in and that keeps the fire burning. And he's done the same thing over at the smoke teepee, just to keep all this stuff preserved. It's nice and uh, dry and it's going to be easy to make it portable and we'll just pull pieces off it throughout the day. But uh, that's the way that you don't have to cut a pile of wood. And you can keep a fire going too at the same time. we got lots of meat hanging around here. Oh, it's a really good piece of meat. I'm looking forward to eating this.
bit lost. Oh, that was close. Scare you? Uh, it kind of went toward my hand. So I was thinking about it too hard. Don't hit his hand. Don't hit his hand. Don't hit his hand. <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's not as good as our stew. I think the spices made a pretty big difference. Tastes like meat. Yeah. So we've eaten our way through half of one beaver, I think. Eh? What did you say? Well, over half. That's the second beaver. Yeah. We have a beaver pot. Probably a, be a beaver. I'd say a one hole. Oh yeah. Or three quarters. Three quarters of a beaver. It's a lot of food. It's got flavor, but it's dry meat. Yeah. So you'd be if you ate that instead of that, we'd be as bad as off last year with the pipe, right? Just lean. Oh, I could probably eat more of this than of the pike, and I think it's got more in it. But not more, not as much fat as that. No. Not even close. That is so much more rich, though, mm -hmm. with the bones in there. Definitely the way to go is to stew, 100%. If you want to eat barbecued meat and you got some barbecue sauce, <laughs> I would eat that with barbecue sauce. Yep. That'd be fantastic with barbecue sauce. So this fish is not cooked right through not to my liking anyway some people will eat raw fish and that would probably be a good raw fish but i'm not going to eat it like that i'm going to cook it on a rack it's funny we're having a conversation about what to do with all our excess <laughs> what you got yeah. there a leg yeah starting to pile it up in the canoe <laughs> so so we are planning to give some of it away we're gonna put some in the slow cooker yeah I think we'll throw this one in the slow cooker for the day or overnight at home yep yeah yeah, not, yeah in the, we, not in the wilderness we just don't need it right now yeah so uh, we have to preserve it we have to preserve we're not gonna waste anything here lots of meat yeah Lots of food. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, I forgot about the trout. How about that? How does that look, friends? Fantastic. I'll finish that one first. Which fork is yours? <laughs> I don't know. You I had, think we've been... I think this one because you were eating uh, choke cherries last night. I don't night. think we've been too specific about what eat. Whoa, that's hot. Bowsers. <laughs> one end's hot one end's not. My mouth is watering. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's fatty, right? Yep. Very. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's really good meat. Mm -hmm. That fish is perp. Look at that. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll Super. Link, I'll link up the adobo spice. <clears throat> All we did was smoked it overnight. Yep. Off and on. Yep. And then I finished cooked it in the morning. Opened it all up. Finished cooked it. Can't get that in a restaurant. You can't get that in a restaurant, but you would want it in a restaurant. Mm. That's really good. Really good. Isn't it? Yeah. Let me know the piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep it over here. Yeah. You eat your rotten bear. 
Rotten oh, bear. No, it's not rotten. <laughs> That's good, eh? That's oh, like so good. off the charts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get rid of this. We don't need any sugar anymore. <laughs> now we're still gonna eat it. Yeah, I'll share. As much as you didn't catch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to share. Don't want to share. I don't want to, but I will. Good, 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 good. Super good. good. Super good. Oh, dude. The flavors are off the charts this year. Holy. Very good. I think he did say something about eating our friend's head. And you said it wasn't boiling, so you wouldn't do it? Yeah. I can get it to boil. <laughs> yeah. Will you eat it then? <clears throat> Are we drawing the line in the sand at a bear head? Maybe we'll draw the line on this trip. You want to suck the brains out of the back? I don't know. I don't think it's cooked. <laughs> Looks kind of pink in there. That's all pink. Do the juices run clear? <laughs> I don't know. We well, just stick your face out hole on the back there and suck the juices out. I think there's still one vertebrae attached. <laughs> has to be. Uh, I'm just making more. excuses now. All right, so you're not gonna eat the bear head. No. We're not complete zombies yet. I could eat 10 of these. Hmm. Look at that meat. Hard to top off what we've done so far, but... Hmm. Is this the best? Well, that beaver we... stew. I think, oh. it, I think it's best than the beaver. Better than the beaver. Look at that meat. We're not going to be eating any leftover fish. That's for sure. The eyeball, it's got all the vitamins that you need. And the fat. Mm, nice and crunchy. Let's get this one out. Through the bottom. Or through the top, up the bottom. Let's get that, is that brain or the eyeball fat? I don't know. It looks fatty, so we're eating it. It's gotta be fatty, look at it jiggle. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's fat behind the eye. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, look at that fat. Hmm. Tastes like butter. Look at that jiggly, fatty mess. Whoa, that's rich. Ooh. There's a lot of fat in there. I think we did a good job on this, but there's always some left. The cheek meat. Cheek meat on the other side. There's gonna be nothing left. Jawbone meat. Done. Well, almost done. You want to lick here? No. No, that's okay. Is there anything left on that head? Doesn't look like it, eh? <laughs> no. Well, there. The there's head some. is, it's so much greasier, eh? Like, and look at your fingers. You can tell that there's tons a of, fair oil. Bit of fat in there. Like, it's slippery. Yeah. 
that's you don't get that from just meat. Oh, there's some in there. How many brains have we eaten? Well, we'll have to do a tally after. We will. Keep do you think up. any of the brains that we've eaten so far will turn us into zombies? They might. Do you think maybe that's why we keep eating more of them? Or we'll gain the wisdom of the animals whose brains we ate. Hopefully. You were turning into a rabbit the other day. You already think like a trout. <laughs> Jerry's putting the fires out. Yep. Better safe than sorry. We've had a fire burning for days, right? It goes deep. Yeah. Picking or eating? Hey? Right. Picking or eating? Picking them and then eating them. So one of my subscribers sent me this, uh, Down East Primitive Survival. If I've got that wrong, I'm gonna fix it at the bottom. He sent me this blueberry rake. I told him I've never used one before, but I'd give it a shot. A uh, couple of seconds of picking. I've got a pile of berries. Not a bad job. It's a bunch of junk in there. But it'll do. None of this meat is getting wasted. We can't eat it all. It's going in the freezer, it's gonna spoil. Otherwise, we're just stuck by the fire, tending the fire for well, until the bear is done. <laughs> so we're donating this to other people who want some bear meat traveling with it is that it was a magnet for flies as soon as we got away from our smoky fire it was oh like yeah night and day it's crazy it's crazy how effective that that smoky fire is compared to nothing at all yeah. I and mean, this would spoil like look at this it's attracting so many flies it would spoil within an hour yeah you wouldn't want to eat it anymore no. plus the sun and the heat and the bacteria yeah nature wants to take this back <laughs> it's a dead animal and it's not just gonna say okay we don't want it you can have it you either take it, you take this dead animal, or every other animal, an animal that eats animals will eat it. Yeah. So I'm going out of ketosis. I got to gain a few pounds, put it that way. So I'm going to eat my fruit leather, which is finally becoming fruit leather. Oh, there's a hair in there. Oh, look at that. Nice hair. Jeremy. No, it can't be Jeremy. He cut his hair last year. So we're going to pile that in there. It's really good too. Very sweet. It's got the texture of a... I don't know, fruit roll-up. Speaking of choked guys, there's some here. These aren't ready. Um, they're getting there. You want them to be dark purple. These red ones will be very bitter. Where are you taking me, Jer? Taking you to Channel Catfish Heaven. Isn't this, should we just stay at the other lake? We could have. And just ate food? We could have. Okay. Yeah, we could have just sat there. I got a huge pack. It weighs probably 40 pounds. I don't do lightweight stuff. <laughs> yeah, overnight supplies. Yep. To do overnight catfish. You think that's food? In the grocery store? Mm -hmm. That's him. 
And I'm gonna open this. So about food no twelve thousand calories of blueberries. Very twelve thousand. <laughs> Not quite. No. So anyway, just on a pit stop. The mosquitoes are awesome back here. I forgot a long sleeve shirt. Should be nice tonight, sitting out for catfish. So we got um, beaver uh, meat bait. Mm -hmm. And bear meat to eat. Bear meat, tons of bear meat to eat. And we're gonna catch some fishes. Catfish. <laughs> we could have just stayed home and eat, so this might bust the bank. Yeah. I might not make this out. Was, this part's more for adventure and variety, right? Like it was part of our original yeah, plan. Yeah, it's not necessary for the sake we, of, I mean, it, it, and if we're going forward, yeah, we need to continually exploit different resources because that lake only produced two fish in two days. Yeah. So it's not like a source of food that we could rely on. No. Um, so going out and looking for different sources of food, but like we did have a bank of food, but we can't just rely on that. So this is kind of simulating going off and getting a more varied diet. Yep. But we don't have necessarily a more varied diet in this specific part of northern Ontario. Yeah, and relative to last season, the what we might get in channel catfish in an evening is probably more than what we'll get in pike in a day. But maybe, we'll see. Maybe that's kind of our gamble. Pike is something we can usually rely on. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully, this walk doesn't take longer than half an hour. But it seems like it's going to be two hours by Jeremy's standards. I think I can hear the river. If anybody remembers season one, oh, come on. we walked back on the rail track and it was just around the corner for half a day <laughs> and I was really hungry. And what did we find around the corner? Nothing. 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 We had to turn around and come home. We had nothing. Yeah. So I'm hoping this, in, this isn't two hours, but Jeremy doesn't remember exactly how long. So we'll see. And we have to walk the whole way. So we made it. That wasn't too bad. Oh, riffle here. If you watch TV, one of the scariest things you can find in the woods is wolf poo. Oh my God, there's a wolf. <sighs> Scary. Guys, the wolves aren't out to get you. Humans are the top predator. You see how many animals we dismembered on this series? Give your head a shake. Wolves are not gonna come get you. Bears aren't gonna come get you. The people come and get the animals. That's just how it rolls. So if you see animals, predators, what do you guys do for predator control? We're humans. Humans are predator control. Humans are the top predators. We don't worry about predators. We're not stupid. Well, we cleaned all those animals around our camp the other day. And you know what happens? Worst case scenario, is we attracted more food. And we eat that food too. Don't be silly. Animals don't want to come get you. So for this rig, I'm doing is a couple split shots here, up to a floaty bit here hook and a worm on a harness, well not a harness, I just threaded it up. So that same thing for the rainbow. And uh, we're gonna do a dead set line for now because it's still daylight, but when it gets dark, we'll still do a dead set line, but we'll be looking for bigger catfish. Because they feed mostly at night. Whereas right now we might catch a mixed bag of anything, including rock bass and walleye in here too, Yeah, sure? Walleye and pike and perch and all the warm water species, not the cold water species like trout. It's more dinner, probably not what you want, but it's all edible. Yeah. It's a fall fish, I think. What is it? I think it's called a fall fish. Oh, it's stuck in the trees.
you guys know what this is on YouTube, let me know. I think it's a big minnow. I think it'll cook up pretty fine. More food for the pot. Just keeps going on this channel. Keeps going! And I did the icky jimmy. Icky jimmy, you bust out the brain there. No, so you guys don't have to talk to me about why don't you kill the fish? Listen guys, half the time I do kill the fish and it just keeps twitching. But when you scramble the brain out like that, oh look it twitched. Look it, I can make it twitch. Look at that. You think it's dead? Here, it's got no brain, but you get your finger in there and stimulate the guy. <laughs> I'm not making it do that. The fish have nerves, they're like little chickens. Now I don't think I can get any more because it's running out of energy. Let's see if I can. I'm just stimulating the spinal cord, spinal column there. Try to get it to fire. There it goes, it's firing. See it's fire? All I'm doing is stimulating it. And you'll do that when you're filleting, guys. When you're filleting the fish, you hit that spinal cord and you, you get the nervous system to fire. So now it's not firing anymore because I got all the energy out. But half the time it's just the... It's the uh, gill plates that's going and going and going and going. It still has energy, but this time it's all fired out. Let me get it to go one more time. Are we eating rock bass? Oh, I don't know. Well, it was better than all the other ones. Dang it. Oh. <sighs> Another one of those big minnow fishes. They're bigger than the last one though. I was just about to film about harvesting the nodding sedge right here. This is my catfish line that's set up. It's got a big fish head on as bait and something just gave it a good tug so we'll keep an eye on that. This plant is nodding sedge so you can see it has these big hanging seed uh, heads and they Typically, we'll just strip pretty, oops, where's my camera, pretty easily. So I'm just going to go through and strip these into a jar, and we'll parch them later. Oh, did you see that? Oh. I have my rod tied to a... so I don't lose it. It's a lazy fish. A 
pike. This is what Chris was calling a fall fish. So that's what I had on as bait for a catfish. And what I caught instead is this northern pike. Because we didn't have enough food already, we'll add this to our pile. Yeah. I never scaled a pike before. Well, everybody watched the first Wilderness Living Challenge and we know we never scaled a pike before. No. So look at this progress, everybody. We're awesome. We're scaling pike now. Now. And this is an experiment for me, so maybe we'll get good at it and then we'll show it in other adventures. All right. We'll cut that for now and we'll see yep. what you come up with. All right. This is what I did. I don't know if I can get my head in here, but um, I scaled it and I took out the Y bones on one side and on the other side, I took off all of the fins and I'm left with, I think, just a pike with a rib cage. It's my first time trying it, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. One little fishy, two little fishy. I don't know what kind of fish these are, but these are not traditional fish that you would eat. You wouldn't. But I just had a nice delicious rainbow trout and I feel like having another one. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I'm gonna do with these fish, I'm gonna do the adobo style size, uh, spice again. I'm gonna take the fins off I'm going to keep the head on. I'm going to scale the whole body. Scale it both sides. And then I'm going to score it all the way down. Both sides score it. Open it up. Take the guts out. And then I'll butterfly it. Open nice and big. And I'm going to cover it with spice. And then we're going to cook it over the fire. So, think about fish for survival. Fish are extremely low calorie. Primarily because they're low fat. So you can't rely on just fish. Nobody in the world lives on just fish. There's simply not enough calories. You'd have to eat mountains and mountains and mountains of fish. You can't survive out just lean protein. You have to eat the skin. You have to eat the brain. Uh, no matter how small it is. And this time I icky jimmy did it, killed it. Um, so it doesn't really have a brain, but there is fat behind the eyes. Um, the eyes should be eaten as well. The stomachs can be eaten. Just squish the guts out, fry it up, perfect. Um, the fins, you could probably eat the fins if you make them nice and crispy. To be honest, they're not really worth it. You're better off just to cut them. Um, and like I said, these are garbage fish. These are not choice uh, sport fish. But there's no limit on them because they're just, a, they're basically a giant minnow. Um, but there's lots and lots of these in northern Ontario. In fact, they be, can be really easily caught. Same with the rock bass. I mean, you can go to somebody's dock and fish off the dock and you can catch 150 rock bass. Nobody catches and keeps rock bass that I know of. Here's the uh, tarp set up that I will sleep under tonight. Chris already clotheslined himself, so I hung a couple of clothesline guards, just a couple pieces of balsam branches. I tied 
a log along the back to keep the back wall down tight unless there's a big wind it shouldn't move and it's probably too far from the fire to reflect heat but I'll be able to hear the sound of the fire anyway it's a real fancy tarp set up I'm just gonna go set up my tent <laughs> Okay, so in that short amount of time, we managed to catch two little fall fish. Uh, Jeremy grabbed a pike, a uh, small pike, but a pike nonetheless. And I got a little smallmouth bass, but uh, we did come here for the catfish. These are just bycatch, but yeah. bycatch is a catch. We're gonna eat whatever we catch. So our main course anyway is still the, uh, the bear meat, right? Yep. Alright, got it. Uh, what's all in there? Oh, oh you put you know, some mushrooms. Some mushrooms in there. Wow. There it is. Smorgasbord board of stuff. Yeah. And uh, I haven't felt hungry. I did uh, on the drive. I ate uh, choke cherries. Um, I ate the rest of the fruit leather, so I think maybe that helped pretty good. Oh yeah. Try to balance out the the fats and the proteins with some carbs. And I have some blueberries to munch on. I did that a little bit in the car. Uh, we've been moving around location to location because something we learned last year was that each place we go to doesn't have everything that we need. You have a fish too. I know, I'm trying to get the camera set up. I do have a fish. Holy shit. What I'm gonna do is switch sides with you because I'm over you. Whoa! Oh, dude! Oh. Go uh, on top of my head with your line. Can you line down? Oh. I'll let you steer the head in there here, okay? I won't scoop. Dude. You steer it in. I didn't catch one that big before. You get the head in. Yep. Holy <laughs> shit! Holy <laughs> I can't lift it up. It's like 20 pounds of scat Holy sh**. Woo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Bring it up. Yeah, man. Right up by the fire. Oh, holy sh**. We can't eat all of that. <laughs> We're done. We're stopping, right? Yeah. Holy sh**. Man, what? That Look at that! Wow. It's a monster. Oh, <laughs> it's bigger than the net. Your uh, your viewers down south probably a lot of them won't find this that big, but well, for here, for here, yeah, you, we can't eat that. What are we doing, Jer? We <laughs> are nailing season two of the Wilderness <laughs> Living Challenge. Look at that. <laughs> this is my arm from the elbow to the here, and then it's got another eight or ten inches on that wow we almost it's had big. two like that too all right i gotta get my line back out obviously there we go yeah watch the spines number two yeah, look at that not as big but we'll take it yeah we're kicking this time <laughs> Taking Is it the current bailing or is it a fish bailing? Look at the bail. No, it can't bail like that. Oh, it's, the, it's just a fish, dude. It's, Here. it's just a big, big, big fish. It's just a big, big, big fish. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so big that you thought it was on bottom. It was just, toward me. Oh. So what's in here? Oh, number three! Number three, we put the stingers on. We're not messing around anymore, people. <laughs> oh, nice! We, we're, we caught a beaver's weight in uh, catfish now. Not, not only are we winning the Wilderness Living Challenge, we're going to feed the whole neighborhood. We're, we're going <laughs> to have to do a video now on how to can fish. We're going to start We're going to start bringing the wives and the kids, and we're going to set up camp and... 
We're winning. We're done, man. Yep. We did it. We did it. Trying to eat up all the rest of our fish. What are you eating? Fall fish. How is it? With the adobo spice, it's incredible. Yeah. So you're just picking it off by hand because this is we haven't eaten any fish except for the rainbow. You just pick it by hand, sort out the bones. Yeah. We eat the whole thing, you, right? You figure out the pattern of where the bones are, and then yeah. So we ate all the skin and all the meat. It's a side piece, so the bones are running up and down through here. So as you bite off a piece, there's going to be a bone in there. So you got it. It's not showing very well, but too close. Back it up. It's not very big either. No. Well, it's Here's, pretty big if you swallowed it. Yeah. You don't want to swallow those. That's Here's like another an inch, one. inch and a quarter. Yeah. So we just throw all those away and eat the meat. In my blueberry bag. And it's we're using that blueberry rape with super fast and I can move it around. I can collect them so that I can move them around, but then I have to sort through for the berries and the leaves. I could just eat the leaves, but there's all sorts of stuff in there. Pine needles and sticks and twigs. No two beavers. No. Guys, Woodbeard oils his beard every morning, which is normal, but it's like three tablespoons of oil. It's like 270 calories. I think he's trying to hack the Wilderness Living Challenge. Guys. Woodbeard's brushing his teeth like eight times a day out here. Which is okay. But he never spits. It's like 300 calories of toothpaste. I think he's trying to hack the Wilderness Living Challenge. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>